Hello everyone, Wylock here. Today we're going to make a set of six Eldar objective markers. Now even though these are intended for Warhammer 40k, I think the elven aesthetic and some of the techniques we use for crafting these are portable, and so you DMs making tabletop terrain will get something out of it. Anyway, let's go to the table. So I decided I wanted to make some Eldar objective markers, so I did a Google image search on that, and one of the first results was this image. So these were made by James Wapple, who is clearly talented, and I figured I could try and mimic them with my cheap and easy crafting materials. As always, chipboard, my favorite crafting material. Cheap, sturdy, easy to cut. There's a link in the description below if you want to buy some. Anyway, I'm going to use my compass and draw out a circle 50 millimeters in diameter, so 25 millimeter radius, and cut that out. Then a one inch washer attached to the circle using super glue. Hot glue can be kind of dodgy on smooth metal. You can still see the tiny dot made by the compass needle to help ensure that the washer is perfectly centered. Now draw out this shape on some chipboard. And this is going to be your standard, so you'll use this to trace a bunch of copies and cut them out. Never actually use this piece or make copies of copies. This way your wraith bones will always be identical. So you trace a bunch and you cut them out. Then use a plain old office hole punch and punch two holes along the outer curve like this. Bead of hot glue to attach the wraith bones to the base. And then going to add a dot of hot glue to each side of each wraith bone. Notice how I twirl the gun there at the end, that's to kill the wisp. J don't just pull the gun straight away or it's going to leave a wisp, a long tiny thin strand of hot glue, not good. Now because of that metal washer, I did use a cheap primer. Wherever there's smooth metal or plastic involved, I use a primer. Otherwise I go directly to acrylic base coat. And I used an off-white primer because I like the color straight as is. Now one way to do this is take some dark brown craft paint and water it way down to make a wash. Here's a bunch of them washed and drying. And once they're dry, another wash with sort of a cocoa type of brown applied sporadically. But I wasn't crazy about that, so I figured I'd try my airbrush. Just two shades of brown, low trigger action, close into the piece for a tight beam, and just kind of erratically applying bursts of it to shade the wraith bone. That's good enough. For the spirit stones, I start with a dark red, give them a solid base coat. Then a lighter, maybe orangey kind of red, just apply a dab sort of in the center or the lower half of the gem. And finally with plain white, a tiny dot. And some plain black, gonna apply this to make cracks, sort of draw on and make the thing a little more ancient. Don't go crazy with it, just a few. And finally got these glass beads which are normally used as like flower vase filler, but they're red and I figured, eh, why not? So a dab of hot glue in the center and stick it on there. And finally just going to use some white PVA glue to apply some static grass. A bit of green just helps to make the galaxy a little less grim dark. Not too much, but a little less. So here they are in context, and the number of those uh, fins, those wraith bones, indicates which marker it is, one through six. If you don't like the glass beads at the middle, you know, certainly you could just make a big blob of hot glue on some wax paper or something and paint that up and attach it instead. But this is a crafting channel. I'm all about using found materials. I had fun with this one. I think uh, using the hole punch to do, uh, you know, the small scale elven architecture is going to be uh, very useful going forward. That flocking was from the Huge Miniatures Kickstarter, so if you're interested in that kind of stuff, go check it out. For all you 3D printers out there, don't forget to check out Heroes Horde, where you can get true tiles models, as well as a ton of other excellent fantasy-related scenery. I am Wylock, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time.